Okay, so um, I wanted to show you a couple of things before we got into rendering um, out images. And so the first thing I want to do is set up your sun and sort of give you an idea of how I might recommend that you do that. So I'm just going to sort of go back to scratch here and turn off my shadows and turn my sun path off and I'll go to hidden line. So basically what I recommend you do is go to your default 3D view um, to sort of figure out how you want the sun to be hitting your model. And so the first thing you're going to want to do for sure is go to your sun settings and you're going to want to pick still up here if it's not already chosen and you want to pick your location here. Um, and then you can pick sort of a date. It'll probably go to the current date um, or whatever time it is for you. Um, or you can go to one of the presets like the summer solstice or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll just go to like summer solstice here. I don't know why it does 2004, but um, I don't think it makes a difference. But um, And click OK. And then <clears throat> go ahead and turn your shadows on and turn your sun path on. Um, your sun path is going to um, size itself to the size of the extents of the model. So if you have some really big um, site model, you might want to turn that off so the sun isn't that big. Um, you can scale it a little bit, like this is at 150. If it at 100, right, it'll make it a little smaller. Um, so you can scale it down if you need to as well. So <clears throat> I've got the shadows on, I got the sun on. If you want to, you can put on realistic if that helps. And then what you can do, and this has got to be in your parallel 3D view, it can't be in a perspective view, you can just move the sun around, right, and see how that affects the shadows, right? Now I'm kind of pulling it, right, and if I pull it kind of over here, you can just go in, look at your file, you know, and get a good idea of where those shadows are and how you want them to sort of dip into the building if you want them in a little further and you can sort of adjust the sun um, to where you want it. So if I wanted the sun right here I would then go into my sun settings and I can save this location right so this settings right here so I'm just gonna save the settings and I typically name it the date so to uh, probably 0214 and 20 doesn't really matter 20 2020 and then the time so 1030 a.m. right so that gives you a setting right there and if you click OK you can use that setting when we set up the views in just a minute all right